Well, good evening. As most of you know, I am Reverend Richard Steve Mitchell. I'm here at the, um, the ending and the closing of the Caribbean um, pageant. And here with me is one of the, the awesome, lovely judge, which I think in my own right that she should have been one of the contestants. But I guess it's um, according to the ages and whatnot, she was eliminated from being a pageant and is a um, yeah, judge. So here we have Sophie of the Jamaican Cleaner, who really represented um, and did a great, um, typical job tonight. I just want her to speak a little bit. Well, thanks for having me, Reverend. I would say it was an awesome um, production. I thought the judges' job was very difficult because all of the girls were phenomenal. Uh, they had great answers, but I think what caught it for Mr. Mesa is her delivery, eye contact, and the fact that she smiled throughout the audience, um, the program, and she smiled with the audience, of course. So, um, I think um, things would have been greater for most of them, especially in the swimwear section, if they're chosen not to wear a cover up, but just be confident enough to walk um, on the runway, strut their stuff, make eye contact, and smile. So which one of the, the, the pageant contestants do you think was more skilled in and confident in her communication? I thought at first we want the best communication with her. I think she was great too. I, I, I think her and Chippo um, was good too with her answers. I think what failed her was her um, delivery. I think that's what um, got Miss Jamaica the edge. So who you believe, which one of the pageants is so more char um, char charisma as it comes to um, walking the, the, what do you call it? The runway. The runway. I think, um, I thought Miss Trinidad was great. Yeah, and Tamar was good too. I thought those two were exceptional. Yeah, I thought they were great. The, um, their positiveness, their um, confidence was very um, commendable. Thank you. Well, thank you. Okay, and what's for you?